Hey guys, Mike here at Anime Tutorials, and welcome back to part three of our low poly game asset. Okay, so uh, like I said in the previous video, I got a request to do a very low poly model. So this is it. And in part one, we modeled this weapon. In part two, we created the UV map. Now, I should have explained why we applied this checkered material. Um, this is just to see uh, when you uh, apply your actual 2D files, whether there's going to be any stretching or, or you know, uh, misalignment and so forth. So now that we've done that, we've seen that, you know, the checkers are uh, fairly uh, square. They're roughly the same size. So we should be okay. All right. So in this uh, video, we're going to apply some actual material. Now, I didn't UV everything because besides 2D external texture files, I'm also going to use a couple of uh, standard shaders. Uh, for example, on the trigger here, so right click object mode, these two, right click assign new material, we'll do a, uh, a blend, and we'll just uh, make that black. And we'll make sure that the reflectivity is somewhat higher. So we'll go from 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. There we go. And actually, I did UV uh, these guys here. Uh, but I want to apply the same material there. So I'm going to assign existing material and select our blend 2 material. Okay, there we go. So that's all set. Now, these two screws at the end, that one and that one. Right click, assign new material. We're going to go with an MIA underscore X material. Material tab, presets and chrome. There we go. So we got that. And then next, we're going to start at this end. So we're going to take this guy, right click, assign new material. We're going to go with the Lambert. We're going to hit our checkered box. We're going to select File. And then we're going to click on our folder. And on my desktop, I have a file called Black Steel. There we go. OK. Looks all right. And it should. OK. Then we are going to select this guy. And we are going to change some areas here, but initially we're going to apply the same material. So we're going to right click, assign existing material, and that would be our Labor 12. There we go. And then we're going to go in and we are going to change this section here. So right click, and we're going to take these elements here just for the grip section. Not that one, just that. Okay. And for that, we're going to apply a black rubber material. All right. So we're going to right click, assign new material. We're going to use MIA underscore X. Material tab, presets, rubber, and replace. Okay. And it doesn't show up that clearly right now, but it will when we render. Okay. So we got that. <clears throat> now in this section here, there's an area that I want to apply some different material to, and that's especially this end material. So I'm going to take the front section here. Actually, I'll initially apply um, this material to the whole object, and then I'll tweak that a little. Okay. So this guy was, uh, let me see, uh, Lambert 12. Okay. So we're going to select this guy, right click, assign existing material. Number 12, and that should look okay. All right, and then we're going to go in and we're going to 
change a few sections here. So for example, this front end, right? Right click face and we're going to select all the outer flat squares, if you like. Okay. So those, and we're going to right click, assign new material. We're going to go with a Lambert once again. And uh, let me think, we're going to hit our checker box, select file, folder, and I have this fishbone texture. There we go, that I want to apply. And we're just going to make sure that the alignment is okay. So for these two, I'm going to go up to edit UVs, UV texture editor. And those are these two that are selected and I'm going to hit E. I'm just going to move this over so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to set that upright to fix that view there. All right, that one looks okay. These two, we're going to do the same, edit UVs, UV texture editor, and it's already at rotate or otherwise just hit E. There we go. So they look okay. And then that one looks okay as well. All right. And just to give this some uh, bling, if you will, we're going to select the remaining faces that are besides that. All right. Right click assign new material we're going to go with mia underscore x material tab presets chrome and replace and that should now be okay and then next what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a paint effect okay so hang on all right, so now let's get some effects in here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to rendering. We're gonna go to our texturing uh, menu, 3D paint tool, hit the option box. All right, now let's just see what we got going on here, okay? So first of all, what you need to do is go down to file textures, assign and edit textures, and you need to select that. Otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. Size, I'm not going to mess with that. And I'm just going to assign and edit textures. Okay. There we go. Then we're going to go to our color. Now our color is black right now, and we don't really want it to be that black. We want it to be a bit grayish, if you will. And then we have the option to select what kind of type we want. So we're just going to see if that will work for us. Let's see. Um, we don't want that guy. Just want to make sure that my settings are correct. So it's not taking. Hang on. Be back in a second. Okay, guys, I just uh, reset my tool by clicking up here. Apparently something was going on with the settings. So uh, so we should be good. Uh, here you have your uh, radius. Uh, I'm not going to tweak that. But you do see that you have this little uh, marker here. And if you hold down your B key and you left click and drag, you can make the area that you want to impact uh, larger or you know smaller. Um, okay, I got a yellow color here. Obviously, I don't want yellow. So what we'll do is we'll try to get something kind of army green and maybe a bit dark. Okay, and let's hope that this time around, as you can see, it's working. We're just going to add some, some effects to that. And... Come on, kind of erratic right now. Not quite sure why, but 
And now I'm going to change my color to, let's do something that is quite dark red. And we're just going to swipe the area and just kind of create some effects. As you can see, we've got some going on here, some going on there, just to give that maybe kind of a camouflage look. Okay. We'll change it once again to yellow and then kind of green yellow, if you will, right? And we're just going to add an effect here. Maybe something like that. All right. Now, as far as this guy is concerned, let's see if that will play ball or not. Not really to the extent that I was looking for, but we'll call that a glitch because it worked before, so we should be okay. It's not really a reason to bail on our entire tutorial for that, okay? So that is uh, how you do that. Um, like I said in the first video, I'm not used to doing game props because I usually create higher poly models and pass them over to someone. So uh, uh, this is me sharing what I know of the uh, topic. I'm certainly not an expert, but nevertheless, I still hope that it was uh, somewhat helpful for you guys. Okay. So this is it. If you've got any questions and I can help, let me know and uh, hope to see you guys again. Thanks. Bye.